Hey, what up guys? It's Jack. Welcome back to another video. So, um, uh, yeah, so now that Modern Warfare 2022 has been out for a few days and no, I did not buy it. Um, I think the gameplay in the background on this one's going to be COD Ghosts or something like that. Uh, very old gameplay that probably the majority of you have not seen. Uh, but, um, in this one, I wanted to, I, I kind of wanted to talk about <laughs> Modern Warfare 2022 and Pwnstars.com basically uh, gave a dose of reality on Twitter when he saw a tweet posted by Charlie Intel and basically uh, it, it, it just, uh, it was such a good dose of reality that I couldn't help but make this video and I had some time today so I figured why the hell not. So what exactly is it that I particularly am talking about? Well, here it goes. So Charlie Intel posted a, a tweet that says Modern Warfare 2 at 2009 at 550 million in the first five days in sales. Modern Warfare 3, 775 million in the first five days. Modern Warfare 2019, over 600 million in the first three days. And then Modern Warfare 2, 2022, over 800 million in the first three days. Call of Duty is alive and well. And Pwn Stars replies, do you know how many people purchased COD and stopped playing after the first week? That's the first week. Stop using sales as a means to measure. By the way, the game is $70 now. There's a reason why they remove player counts, my dude. And not only that, there's a little bit more. He does this. Well, the first tweet, I believe, was, uh, was as follows. He does this every year. And on top of that, only take numbers Activision spews out as gospel. Then decide to compare Warzone numbers versus previous Call of Duty numbers when in actuality, one game is free and the others were not. <laughs> oh man this is see this is this is one of the many reasons why i love this guy i love pawn stars man and he is by the way one of the uh one of the five legends that i had uh featured in one of my previous videos very recently and for good reason and uh, and it all kind of kind of matches when it when it comes to the people that i follow when it comes to this whole thing like sandy ravage x cal to name a few ronaldinho uh pawn stars and uh the uh, mark j for instance you know these guys these guys will tell it to you like it is, and they're they're incorruptible. So it's one of the reasons why I follow them and why I consider them among the best. Well, granted, they have the skill to back it up as well. There's plenty reasons behind that as well. But the thing is, yeah, guys, I mean, whew, Modern Warfare 2022, you got Blame Truth over here frothing at the mouth, making his videos, Thunder, of course, too. And uh I'm 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 enjoying their content and their videos as always, but it's like, yeah, it's uh it's pretty amazing how um how everything is pretty much rolling and how uh, all these shills are basically uh, working to the max at this point. And watch, watch. And about, what, three to six months later when the game is hardly relevant anymore, even though it's set to be relevant for two years, watch, you'll see. The, the, <laughs> there's going to be minds that are going to be changed very, very soon. Very, very soon. Now, I'm sure there are a number of players. I don't know what the percentage of those number of players are. I'm sure that there are a number of players that absolutely enjoy Modern Warfare 2022. Uh, for whatever reason. Um, and that's cool. Hey, if you actually enjoy it, then hey, good for you. If the game is not giving you problems, good for you. If you're actually enjoying the gunplay and all that kind of stuff or whatnot, good for you. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the majority of those people that do enjoy the game are casuals at this point. Um, casuals, I also like to say, are people that just don't know Call of Duty like the people that, uh, that have known Call of Duty for so many years, for instance. But uh, at the end of the day, the reality is like this. The game, obviously, we knew was going to sell, regardless of the fact that it is, uh, it's not really performing well in terms of the game-wise, in terms of what we were supposed to get and what we didn't and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, for the first time, I have not purchased a Call of Duty in, uh, in many years and also don't desire to. In, in, like in Modern Warfare 2019, I had a feeling that I wouldn't like it, but I still had that temptation to purchase it, right? This, this time, I don't even have the temptation to purchase this game. I, I've seen all I need to see, and I know it's not for me. And uh, it's uh, $70 well saved, to be honest. And I am not, uh, I, I really don't plan on getting the game, to be honest. So, um, and I really don't care. Um, and for those of you guys that um, have gotten the game and that uh, that are disappointed, I'm, I'm very sorry. I mean, again, it's nothing... It's nothing that I did. It's not like I was shilling for the game or anything. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. But um, but the thing is, yeah, ultimately at the end of the day, you spend $70 of your hard-earned money, which is even 
harder earned today with uh with everything increasing in terms of prices or whatnot but um but yeah in order to be disappointed to pay seventy dollars for a game that you want to have a good time and de-stress with and uh, when the game does the opposite yeah i'm sorry but um you know you gotta admit you kind of had to see it coming and i guess i guess uh, a lot of people were just expecting a lot more especially since three thousand developers worked on this game um and i say that in quotes quote unquote three thousand i don't think I don't think all of them did work on this game. I think there was something mentioned by somebody else on Twitter. Don't remember the exact words, but I'm paraphrasing here. Like previous people that used to work on it that got that either left or something like that, they could still use their name or whatnot because they did at one point work at the game and then later on they didn't anymore or whatever the deal was. Something along those lines. I I, I don't know. I don't remember. But um, but yeah, I mean, think I, I feel I'm glad that Thunder's PlayStation Five didn't get bricked like permanently i'm glad he was able to to get things going again especially since he paid a thousand dollars for his so um so yeah man and uh it sucks that a lot of people are just uh not having a good time with the game and that the game is at the, even for the people that are having a good time with the game the game is still lacking there's still uh there's still like a few maps or something like that that are not in the game uh, a few weapons or stuff like that and a few things that just didn't happen really and a few simple things that could have happened but didn't you know, like a legit, like a legit ranking system, like a prestige system or something like that. So, um, it, it is what it is, man. But, uh, but Hey, if you enjoy modern warfare 2022, good for you. I hope you continue to enjoy it and I hope that you have a great time doing it. And if you're a content creator who legitimately enjoys modern warfare 2022 content creator, streamer, whatever, if you legitimately enjoy the game, then Hey, have at it. Um, you know, but, uh, for the others, it's pretty much business as usual. For the ones that are the shills and the ones that actually depend on Call of Duty to make money, um, some of them have been flown out to events by Activision themselves and have an Activision code, and actually some of them do not that have now turned into shills, according to what I've seen on the internet. But I try not to read too much into it, but at the end of the day, people are trying to pay their bills, and they're doing it out of desperation at this point, especially with the way things are now. And it's Call of Duty season, so people want to make their money and they don't care how much they have to bullshit the people. It's nothing new. I've mentioned it before. It happens all the time in regular business and stuff like that. And like I said before, somebody once said, in order to be a good businessman, you got to be a good bullshitter. So um, if we can have the best of both worlds to a person to where they can be honest and be a good businessman, but that'd be great. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't live in that kind of world and that's not the way the cookie crumbles, but especially when it comes to the internet, man especially when it comes to the internet. I mean, people would say things to other people over the internet that they wouldn't otherwise in in real life for the most part, right? So, I mean, just imagine what else they'd do over the internet that they wouldn't do otherwise, right? So, um, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. It's uh, People are trying to make their buck, and on one hand, I could totally understand it, but at the same time, they're sacrificing their integrity for the dollar, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, most people don't even value their own integrity from the looks of it. They just value the dollar, and that's basically what it is. That's their belief system, and it is what it is, you know. And uh, in a world where money solves 90% or more of problems, uh, on one hand, you can't blame them. But on the other hand, shame on them, man. So anyway, guys, um, just kind of wanted to make this video. Good job to Pwn Stars by keeping it real and uh, telling us the facts like it really is. Because at the same time, uh, you know, Charlie Intel will uh, not purposely say certain things or not go too in-depth into things in order for it to uh, to kind of cleverly hide, you know, what the real deal is going on behind the scenes, you know, in terms of like what the real numbers are and all that kind of stuff. But it is what it is, man. Everybody wants their, their money and uh, there's people that are doing it legitimately and good for them and shout out to them. And for the ones that do it illegitimately, a.k.a bullshit your viewers so anyway um anyway guys that's that's pretty much all i got for this one let me know down in the comment section are you uh do you are you enjoying modern warfare 2022 do you think it's better do you think it's worse than modern warfare 2019 uh and the previous call of duty installments or whatnot uh let me know down in the comment section below hope you enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys on the next one